Good morning. I am sitting here sipping on my coffee first thing this morning, like usual. Um, Jeff and the two middle girls are off camping this weekend. That's Talia and Charity. They'll get back tomorrow. So I have to go out and feed the chickens because usually Talia does that. So working up the gumption to go out into the cold and feed the chickens here in a minute. And then since they're gone, having a fun time, I thought I would take the two youngest, Renee and Levi, to a pumpkin farm close by here to do a little bit of harvest pumpkin fun. Um, so we're going to be doing that today, and I just figured I would bring you along on a What I Eat in a Day video. I haven't done one in a while because my diet has been just kind of crazy recently, just different, and I'm kind of ready for it to get back to something normal, find, find a normal again. So... Um, Oftentimes doing a video, a what I eat in a day video helps me kind of just refocus and get back into the swing of things. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. Good morning, Maple. How are you this morning? You seem like you have a lot to say. That's a whole lot to say. Can I step here, please? It is weird not having Izzy here busting at the door to go with me. She is camping with the kids. Jeff got her a little like doggy backpack because they're doing a little bit of backpacking. So cute. So hopefully they're having fun. Ooh, the chickens are ready to get out. These chickens are going to trample you. There they go. Last one? Looks like two eggs. This is what happens when I have egg white bread fails. The chickens get to eat them and turn them into more eggs. It's a recycling process. So normally at this time of day, like mid-morning, I have my athletic greens, but I am taking a break from that just for a few days here before I get my uh, SIBO breath test done. I told you guys that I needed to stay off the El Ruderai yogurt for two weeks because that specific probiotic um, affects the SIBO breath test. Other probiotics um, can affect it, but not, but not as severely, I guess. So the test that I have says to stay off of any probiotics for the day before the test, but then I read some things saying that you should stay off of them for a little longer than that, just in case. So just to be on the safe side, I am skipping my athletic greens and skipping my other yogurts that I've made um, with different strains of probiotics. I've been eating those instead of the El Ruderai for a while since I knew I needed to be off that for a longer period of time. But just for these few days before I take my SIBO breath test, I am not eating any yogurt and I am not taking my athletic greens, which includes some probiotics. So that's something that that is a little bit different um, today, but I will be back to all of my different yogurts and my athletic greens as soon as I get this breath test done. I am so anxious to just get it done, to see the results and just be done with the test. Taking the test is it's just a headache because of all the different things you have to do for your diet, um, the prep diet the day before, like all of it is just super annoying, just ready to be done with it. I'm going to use a couple of my um, pull apart butter buns. Just a note during editing that the recipe video for these butter buns will be coming out tomorrow. I think I'm just gonna do two pieces of bacon because I decided to add on two eggs. I think I'm gonna try to make a little breakfast sandwich a couple little breakfast sandwiches that will be messy because I like my eggs runny, um, but I don't think I need three whole pieces of bacon for that. So I'll probably give one of these pieces of bacon to a child. Still can't get over this incredible texture on these butter buns. So amazing. Can I try one of those pieces, of, uh, like a tiny piece of that bread? Because I've never Yeah, tried you bread. can. I have an, um, some more over here. See? 
And that is what I'm going to have for breakfast. Tons of protein, lots of fat. It's gonna keep me full for quite a long time so we can have all kinds of pumpkin adventures. That filled me up so fast that I'm not even gonna eat this second one. I'm gonna put it away and save it for later. Oh, I'm bringing your jacket just in case. Who do you have on your shirt? Mater. Mater. And who, who lives at the farm we're going to? Mater lives there? Yeah. Oh my goodness. It must be his vacation home from Radiator Springs. Don't you think? That's not. I think I think it might be. Alright, no. let's go. Yeah. I can't see Mater. Yeah, can you see him? You ready to go look at him? Oh my goodness. Oh, and there's a slide at the top. Alright, let's do it. But let's go visit Mater first. Look at Mater. A what? Pumpkins? Yep, he's got he's carrying some pumpkins. Carburetor County. You guys are so cute. Look at all those pumpkins. Those are amazing. Oh, cute. What? Oh, the cute owl. Um, what's the owl's name? Do you remember? Hedwig. Oh, it's so cute. Oh my goodness, that is cool. A little foxy. You can buy, wait, no, it's a square on there. Oh, is this, oh, is it? I think it's a fox or a raccoon. Oh, a skunk too. I like, I, I like this knit pumpkin, it's so pretty. Oh my goodness, isn't that the cutest thing you've ever seen? Smile, smile, Levi. All right, you guys ready for our hayride? Yes. Yep. Yes. Here we Get go. Ready. Yep, getting ready. I don't think it's going to rain very much. All right, Renee, let's find some pretty ones. Maybe, maybe some of these. Let's try to get some of different um, colors. I think this one. Okay, just a second. Here, you have to hold them for me. Here, Levi, you carry this one. It, don't touch it, okay? Hold that. Oh my goodness. So beautiful and the blue sky is starting to peek out. Could this day get any better? Look at you on top of the world. Yes. You got I some got, pumpkins? I got, this one does, this one does good. You're gonna paint them? Yeah. Awesome. You ready to go to Killer Burger? Yes. All right, let's do Killer Burger for lunch. Let's do it. All right, I got a fungi lettuce wrap. It's got mushrooms and Swiss and pickles and bacon. And they used to give me a dollar fifty off if I got no fries, but that wasn't an option anymore, which I was really bummed about. So I got a pile of fries here, but I'm gonna be enjoying my double burger. Uh, my mom, mom, can I tell you what I'm making? Sure. I'm sure. making an octopus and an acorn. Something purple. An octopus, an acorn, and well, a something. I'll probably, I'll probably make a face on this one. A face. Okay, that sounds good. Needle. What are you making, Levi? I'm making this purple, but 
black and that one was a mixed one. Mixed one, okay. With every color. With every color. That sounds so amazing. Oh my goodness. So amazing. I am going to enjoy a second cup of coffee for the day. Um, it just has some heavy cream in it. And we are finishing up painting those pumpkins and watching various pumpkin-y Halloween shows. They are currently on the um, Toy Story Toy of Terror or something like that. It's a little short that's Halloween-ish. Anyways, that's what we're doing this afternoon. So I am going to go ahead and cook my pumpkin. The kids painted theirs. I'm going to cook mine. Um, I forget what kind of pumpkin they said this was. I did ask because I was curious, but it's one of the ones that's great for baking, for cooking. And I am going to make a Thai pumpkin soup. I looked on Pinterest for some ideas I wanted to do. I have some fresh cilantro and fresh green onions right now that I would like to use. The recipe is from, I think it's myorganizedchaos.net. I will put the recipe down below. The only thing I'm going to do is omit the potatoes and maybe just increase the pumpkin a little bit. Um, it's made with coconut milk and a bunch of yummy spices and curry paste. I'll probably use, well, I have a few curry pastes, so I'll have to decide which one I want to use. But, um, I have some homemade chicken bone broth and I thought that sounded really, really nice on this fall day. And it's not like a meaty soup, so it will be like a side dish with some other kind of meat to go with it. Got a chicken fight going on out here. Oh, they're so mean to each other. Mm. That's one tough pumpkin. The chickens will love that. Down in the kids' home. What already? Yeah, they came home a day early. It was snowy where they were camping. <coughs> and I don't think they could handle another night in the snow, so they decided to come home one night early. And I think they're here. The recipe says to like chop the raw pumpkin and saute it, but that's too much work to try to peel this. So I'm just gonna cook it as is and I'll scoop it out and put it in the soup. Okay. Jerry, you're gone. I got the whole time. Okay, let's see. I have Masamon curry paste, which is delicious. I also have green curry paste. That kind of sounds good with the pumpkin. I think I'm going to do the green. Oh, I have red there, but I think I'm going to do the green. That sounds delicious. Those are the ingredients. This is a local made in Oregon company. Super good. I think you can get it on Amazon, but it is one of my favorites. It does have sunflower oil in it, or safflower oil, but it is um, very, very little, so I'm not worried about it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you feel cute. So here's my dinner. I didn't feel like cooking any other protein. Um, so I just, I had a bag of 
bacon in the fridge. So I pulled that out and put three whole pieces chopped in half in the soup that I will dip and eat. And then I added a, another butter bun on the side also for dipping. And then I'll get plenty of protein, but not have to actually cook any more protein. So it's a win-win.